everybody. Hi there. Welcome to Ten Dollar uh, Quilt Club. I keep calling it Ten Quilt Club. Club. Quilt Club for November 2021. We're glad that you have joined us. Absolutely. We have a lot of very cool things to show you today. Fun stuff and I think different we should stuff. start with the blocks, eh? We're going to start with the blocks. So here's... We have uh, been delighted to see your beautiful blocks. There is November's block. Isn't that gorgeous? And here's the, the blush colorway. And finally, the woodland. woodland. One thing we want to share with you guys, Cynthia is going to show you on her phone. Oh, yeah. If you go to our website, I'm going to come up closer so and you, can you go see this. to the Quilt Club page because you guys, woo, have your own page. <laughs> I should let you speak. There, there you quilt, are. You don't need to see me. <laughs> go to the Quilt Club, Club page and then right underneath, <laughs> it's hard to do. The video that you can just see, it says view more. And if you click on that, you'll be able to view so much more. You'll be able to see the blocks. We put a picture I'm just, there's your of next... the blocks up every month. And you can see all the products that we are discussing. Below that is the products. This is the stuff still for October because it hasn't been yet updated. Yes. But you'll see that everything's on there that you might want to see but didn't know was there. It's hard to, to do it. And there's no other way we can organize the website other than to put the view more there. So be aware of your view more on your quilt club page. All right, right. the first thing, what should I talk about first? I'm gonna talk about this kit first, I think. We have this spectacular kit. It is called Country Weekend and the fabrics, as you can see, are absolutely to die for. They're lovely grays and reds it's, and blues. It's such a warm, cozy It's very quilt. cozy, cozy It's cozy very quilt. comforting quilt. It is. Uh, we can hold it up here. You won't see it very well. And I'll bring it closer so you can see better. It's got a whole bunch of little panels. There's little motifs of all around the town. We've got barns and churches and general stores and cozy cabins. So I'll show you up close as I said so there's a church up close just in that block there and we also have the general store so there's all sorts of cute little motifs all on sorts there of different kinds of houses there and are and then we've got a couple of piece blocks there's one that features a snowman in the center and then we have another one that's just a really cool block to piece together with great fabrics there's a gingham and some with little words so this is a I think it's just the cutest little quilt makes a great throw makes a great gift makes a great lots of everything. It is $199.99. The size of it is 60 by 77, so it's a perfect size for a throw. Yeah, no, really, really, really nice. Yeah. Every time we show off quilts, I want to go home and oh, make, and make them. I know, yeah. I feel ya. Okay, so that is Country Weekend Quilt Kit. Okay. Um, we have, we're getting into sort of Christmassy things, of course, uh, because the season's kind of rolling on. And we have an awesome new puzzle. Oops. This is from Buttermilk Basin, and a lot of us absolutely love the designs of Buttermilk Basin. This comes in the best box. You almost want it just for the box. The back <laughs> is this lovely little snowflakey print. We really do <laughs> enjoy the, boxes. We love boxes. And this is a quilt alphabet puzzle. So the puzzle itself is all the alphabet letters, obviously, but in each one is a little Christmas motif. So it's just a ton of fun to do. And then it's got the Christmassy uh, quilty border around it. So it's going to be a really, really fun puzzle to work on. And this is just $24.99, less your 20%. So it's a, a nice little thing to treat yourself to this Christmas. The next product we have to show you is called Grandmother's Secret Spot Remover. This stuff has been around for quite some time. We used to carry it. We just haven't had it for a while. And I'm not really sure why, because it's phenomenal. It comes highly recommended by um, everyone that's ever used it that I've talked to thinks it's great. It comes in a two ounce bottle. And it's, they claim that it is good for absolutely everything. Oil, grease, paint, makeup, grass, coffee, spaghetti sauce, rust, blood, and on, pet stains, and on and on. So it covers. I think one of those is going home spectrum. To yes, exactly. <laughs> and it's, it claims to be safe for most fabrics. So you would want to do a little color fast test. There's no chlorine, there's no bleach, and there's no animal testing, which is all very important. And you just simply put it on the spot. You can rub it and treat it and then throw it in the wash or however you normally wash it. And it works like a charm. Uh, $12.99 for two ounces. And that's, a, that's gonna go quite a way. Secret, so I would think you'd have a, unless you're really messy, you'll be okay. <laughs> say, does it come in a gallon jug? Yeah. <laughs> 
Not that I'm talking about my husband no, here or anything. No, but, of course not. <laughs> um, we've got another great new book. This is called A Scrapbook of Quilts, and it's by Joanne Figaro, and she is from Fig Tree Quilts, and Carrie Nelson of It's So Emma, and it's published by It's So Emma. So this is an awesome book with over 30 patterns for all sorts of different projects in it. I'm going to show you the back cover because that does show some of the projects. You can see there we've got some uh, little pin cushions. We've got all sorts of pillows and then there's just a stack of quilts. So there's an enormous variety of projects in here of all sorts of different sizes. One of the things that I really like about this book is the instructions are done kind of like exploding blocks. That's how they um, tell you how to put it together. Um, simple strip sets and then you piece together in blocks and they've given you a great diagram for that. The quilts are all photographed but also, so there's the great photograph of the quilt, but also a nice line diagram of how you're going to put your rows together with your sashing and your borders. So lots of different things in there. You can choose whatever size of project you want to do. We've got everything from pin cushions to full size quilts. So all sorts of really, really nice patterns. And this is a great stash buster. And I know some of you diligent quilters have used so much of your stash during COVID. You may have to start rebuilding your stash, stash but um, lots of us, me included, still have a nice big stash to work from. So this book is $39.99, uh, less your 20%, but for that you get the 30 project. So it's a really, really great deal. I love my quilt books. I mean, I've got books and patterns, but books, you know, you can look at them and you can yeah. just flip through them and dream and imagine and yeah they're really nice i, I can start so many quilts in oh i do <laughs> absolutely i've got an imagination full of quilts okay cynthia and i both did a little project it's just from a little project sheet i think we've done them before but they are instrumental at getting gifts out of your house at this time of year or getting decor ready for your house at this time of year this one is called the easy mitered placemat by karen montgomery it's just a project sheet as you can see here front and back wonderful wonderful pattern so easy it's quite fun to do you feel very accomplished when you get it done you get to do a little bit of quilting but not too much so that you're ah, i don't want to quilt and you get to um finish it without putting binding on it so it is really cool we've done it before i think it was last year or the year before we did these these are the previous ones so you can see you choose a focus fabric and then you have a, a border or a mitered um border it's a border that goes around the outside of it and then we have this year's new and improved version with the Nomies. So it's really cute, really easy to do. Two fabrics, I think it's, one's a fat quarter and one, I think you could get both out of a fat quarter. It doesn't take much yardage to do it. And it's lots of fun to do too. So I have one that's just, it's partially together so I can show you what you need to do with it. You cut out your focus fabric and you quilt it however you want to quilt it with the batting and you make sure i'm not sure how well you can see this but you use your marking pencil that goes for sewing purposes you don't use the ballpoint pen what to mark your quilt is. lines which is why we ended up with an extra one so this then the back goes around the front sorry goes behind it you iron them together you fold your Hold that I can hold this. Yeah. You fold this in a half inch and press, and then you fold this around. But you have to do a little playing with the corners. So you cut the corners at a 45 degree angle. The instructions are very thorough and very easy to follow. And then you put your quarter inch seam. I'll go closer. And when you wrap, you need a hand or you good? No, I think I'm good. When you pop this out and wrap it around to the front, can't do it in the air, but you can see that you get your perfect mitered corner. And it's so easy, then you just do a little top stitch and you are finished. It probably takes maybe half an hour, 45 minutes to do a place mat, which is really pretty, pretty good. good. And that was my first one for a long time. So once you got your assembly line going, you could have a whole bunch Ooh, turned out. No, I know. And the fabric is awesome. I think that I'm going to make sure that I take some of this gnome fabric home with me because I believe we might only have one bolt left and it is really, really cute. Okay. Oh, and I believe that the uh, pattern is three ninety nine, less your twenty percent. Yes, I'm okay. Done. So I have a similar project sheet. This is also from Karen Montgomery of the Quilt Company. Um, again, super quick 
easy, simple project. And this one is called the Last Minute Table Runner. So this is literally one side of the project sheet. So you've got all the information there you need on the yardage and how to put it together to make an awesome table runner. So these make great gifts, um, hostess gifts. But as Shannon said, if you want to change up your own decor, but you don't want to invest a huge amount of money and time, this is a wonderful, wonderful project. So easy. So I have made a sample. And it's this. so nice. This Look is at that. just gorgeous. This is using fabric called Starflare Christmas from Create Joy Project. And you can make I, it to match your, your oh, placemats. You could. You mm -hmm. could do that. I love this fabric. So I've got a nice blue snowflake on the back and the poinsettias on the front. So really, really cute. The um, What the pattern helps us with is it's making like mine, this. Isn't it? Yeah, making, except we don't do it the same way. Interesting. Making this awesome mitered corner border on the, um, on the, on the table runner. So I've done up some mini samples, so don't be fooled by my mini samples. Um, what you <laughs> don't need, think we're fooling anybody. <laughs> what you need for your project is one third of a meter or 12 inches of your focal fabric and 18 inches of your uh, backing, which come, turns into your border. And you just cut a strip full width of fabric. So you can literally buy exactly what mm. you need. So it's either 0.35 or 0.45 and 0.3. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so pretend these are full width. So I've got my 12 inch wide piece and I've got my backing. And I'm going to line these up. This is full width of fabric. And I'm going to sew the edge of the 12 inch piece to the edge of the 18 inch piece on both sides. So I'm going to seam around along there in a quarter inch seam and seam the other side in a quarter inch seam. So I'm going to make kind of a wonky tube. So what I end up with is a wonky tube. A wonky tube. So there's my tube and I have got my 12 inch piece and my 18 inch piece joined together. I'm going to turn those right side out. And then you're going to position the seams. You're going to press the seams towards the center and then position the seams so you have an equal amount of the border fabric, backing fabric, on either side of that focal fabric, which uh, should be about one and a half inches. But as long as it's equal, that's fine. And I'm going to press those in position. Once I've done that, uh, the magic of the corners or the end pieces is in the folding. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come a little bit closer here so you can anything? see. I think I'm okay. So what you're going to do first, there's a, I'm all pressed up. I'm going to fold those two corners down and I'm going to, they're going to be folded so they are lining up with the top of the focal fabric. You can see that there. And then I'm also going and press that in place. Then I'm going to fold the edge down to meet the top edge of the focal fabric and press that in place. Then when I do a second fold over, you can see that they line up absolutely perfectly with the mitered corner at each corner. Then I'm just gonna top stitch around down the side there and down this side and across the bottom and you end up with that perfect mitered corner at each end of your table runner. And that is it. So you are finished. Bada bing, so, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. So this probably takes 15, 20 minutes per table runner. So if you want to churn out some quick gifts or, or have a, a different table runner on each table in the house. And if you, you do. if you took it down from table runner size to say 12 Baby or 16 size. inches or whatever you want to make it, you could make napkins so you can have matching placemats, table, table runner, runner napkins. napkins. It's, it's perfect. perfect. Yeah. 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 And so much fun too because they're little projects that you can manage to get finished and you feel accomplished and happy. Well, one evening and you've got it, a the you've whole, got a whole table. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, and again, those um, table runner sheets are $3.99, less your 20%. So uh, a very modest investment. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more thing to tell you about is a ruler that I played with, and I absolutely love it. It's a Creative Grids 10-inch Log Cabin Prim Tool Duo. 
I'll show you closer, although it doesn't really do you much good just to see a ruler in a package. It comes with instructions, complete, thorough, accurate instructions. There's also YouTube support if you want to watch instead of read. It's a creative grid, so it's got this patented non-slip grip, and they've put little dots of non-slip grip all throughout the ruler, but they've also started to put it around the edge now too. So when you put a little pressure on this, this is not gonna move anywhere at all whatsoever. The markings are so clear and easy to read, and it works perfectly. So what this does is it helps you make log cabin blocks. You're piecing them yourself, but using the ruler to trim them down to the perfect size each round. A log cabin looks a little something like this, so it's got rounds in it. I'll come a little closer. So the first round is there, and the second round is there, and on and on. So that's what a round is. When I talk about rounds, that's what I'm referring to. The uh, Trim Tool Duo makes either uh, one inch finished or half inch finished. So one inch finished is beautiful the one behind this the one behind this is a one inch finish but half inch finished is even more spectacular it's a oh, lot of work but, but well well worth it so i played with this ruler and i thought it was spectacular i'll show you the premise of the ruler what is wonderful or more wonderful about it is it doesn't matter how accurate your quarter inch seam is and it doesn't matter how accurately you cut because you're trimming after each round you get a chance to you know save yourself and come good you each make time it, every time you trim around you make it, it perfect, perfect again. exactly so, so i'll show you kind of what i'm talking about this is um round one and you can see how wonky this is there's pieces sticking out and you know it's not great you don't have to cut these edges straight because when you trim up you're trimming it all up so the idea is We'll even bring it to this side here. You, you want me to hold it? No, I think I've got it. You start here with your wonky block. You can see there's a little bit going there, and, or going off. It doesn't have to be perfect. You put the first round on, dark, light on one side, dark on the other, and then you trim it up so it's perfect. And then you add your second round, and it can be wonky and misshapen and misfigured, and then you use the ruler to trim it up, and again, it becomes perfect. And you keep doing that, building it round after round, until you have your block completed. This particular one finishes at 10 inches, but you could finish it at, uh, say, 6 inches or 8 inches. It's entirely up to you what size you want to make it. You can also do other things with this ruler. You can do courthouse steps and you can do um, a half log cabin, I believe that's called. So there's lots of different options for you with this ruler. I'm missing saying one other thing. It was about the ruler, the trimming. I'll think of it in a minute, perhaps. Um, oh, I guess I didn't actually tell you how it works. There's a square on here. So this is my round one. There's the center square, and on the ruler it says standard round one. So you simply take the square and you line it up with the square on your block. You trim off the excess on sides. Then Here. you flip your, if you could point where you're trimming, that would be you're great. You're gonna trim there and there. Top and bottom. Then you flip your block. And then you're gonna line it up and you trim again top and bottom and you end up perfectly square. So it is fantastic. And it was a lot of fun too, because you get the option of doing, um, perfection each and every time so you're not building on mistake after mistake not that i know anything about that but <laughs> you're building on a perfect round each time so what we did is we got our dear um, staff member diane to whip up a bunch of log cabins using edita sitar's bluebird fabric so this is a log cabin done in the barn raising pattern you could do your log cabin in any pattern you want we chose barn raising because it's our favorite and then we named this blue barn because it's bluebird in the love it. yes it's absolutely gorgeous so we've made up kits all you need is the ruler the ruler is 49.99 less your 20 percent and the kit and look at this is fantastic is 129.99 less your 20 percent now remember there's not a pattern in this no pattern. You, don't you don't need, need a pattern aren't those fabrics just awesome yeah, you just and need there's our lovely quick yeah. dark quilt it's pretty cool because the ruler tells you it everything you and need And as to I know. mentioned, it's so easy. You don't have to be accurate with your piecing or your cutting. It's not as though you're going to sit down to your quilt and cut out specifically. Other than the center square, the rest are just an approximate size that you need. It's really kind of a, a liberating experience yeah. when you're and the end result that is way. Just oh, it's great. So beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We absolutely love it. We have 15 kits, we do. but only 15 kits. Yep, for sure. So if you 
are salivating over this as much as me, you'll want you to want order to get one in quickly. Get one for yeah. sure. Okay. So this month for your special task, we don't want to joke and we don't want to physical was. action. Physical yes. action. We are asking for all of you to bring in a donation for the food bank. It's that time of year where the food bank seems to um, be on everyone or should be on everyone's top of mind. I guess it's the, the holidays yeah. and winter and it's been tough times this year for a lot of people. So we would ask you to bring in a donation to the food bank and we will collect them since he's got a big van and we will we'll load them in the back. We'll get them over there. We are ready, willing and excited to accept your donation. Yeah, so, so we're, we're Mm -hmm. Pretty pleased that we are. Yeah, it was a suggestion from one of our Penny, one of our staff members, her daughter, and yeah. we thought this was it's just a, a really good thing it's to a, do it's at a this feel time good, of yeah. year. So, yeah. if you want to get your next Quilt Club block, you've got to bring in a food bank donation and make it um, something that I'm not going to be wanting to pick through the box <laughs> and replace later on. Oh, look, someone brought cookies. I'll get some more later. Just make it like you know other stuff that I don't want to eat. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Anyway, thanks everybody. That's it. Have an I, uh, awesome day. I think that's covered everything. Eh? Okay. okay. Thanks for watching. We will see you very soon. Bye bye. Bye.